DJ Feature from Feature Press LLC. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Today's a quick video to help you guys, or some of you at least, to not make the same error that I made as far as uh, using a DTAP cable with a dummy battery. Now I have the Sony FX3, and what spurred this issue is I had this V-mount battery, which is very great. It's a great solution so that you can have longer shooting times without swapping batteries. And so I was choosing to connect this with a DTAP dummy battery configuration. Uh, so I went out, went online and got this cable for the Sony FX3, which works great, uh, but it has this adapter that is the DTAP cable. So you plug this into here and that's what makes it all work. So for some reason, when I got this battery from this company, Andy Cine, now they had sent me this vid, uh, battery for a review. Now, it's a great solution as well. It's a little smaller than the average V-mount battery, but for some reason, the DTAP portion would not fit snug the way it needed to into that battery. So I went on Amazon and just figured I'd just get another DTAP adapter. And that's when the issue happened. As soon as I put that adapter into uh, the dummy battery and plug that into my camera, it immediately just flickered, uh, made a lot of noise. An error message came up, something about the cooling fan and seek repair service. I got on Sony warranty services. They tried to help me rectify the issue by doing a hard reset. That didn't work. So we ultimately decided that this camera needed to be sent for repair. The place that it got repaired is called Phototech uh, Camera Repair. This is in New York City. So depending on your region, this is most likely where you will have your camera sent as well. Now off the bat, they're great people. Very, very nice, patient. Uh, called several times during the repair process. They did tell me what the status was and ultimately I did get the camera back. It's working great. But that is the error that could have been avoided. Now, just make sure if you're choosing that dummy battery DTAP configuration, just make sure you get the right specs. The previous cable that I got was uh, 12 volts that wasn't compatible with what it needed to be. And so that's why I had that issue. And so a solution that I did get was this here. Now, this is from a company called uh, Z-Tai or Z-Tay. Now they make various configurations of dummy batteries, also a lot of other camera accessories. And I kind of like this solution a lot better because it's an all-in-one. Uh, you just have the coiled cable with the D-tap part connected, and then you have the dummy battery. This is gonna plug right into your camera. And so I just like this better. Uh, I did do a review on that as well. You can check it above. I'll leave a quick link that you can uh, reference it. And that's pretty much it. So my only tip would be just, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to shy away from using the dummy battery DTAP configuration. Just make sure that the specs are always, you know, where they need to be, or otherwise you can have that issue. So that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.